In today's video, we're going to focus on the best world event for solo players to make money fast. I have thousands of hours in Sea of Thieves, and with Season 9, one of the changes that Rare did was they scaled world events depending on the size of your crew, which means one of the world events that used to be one of the biggest challenging world events in the game is now scaled to solo players. Which world event am I talking about? Well, this world event is one of my favorite world events outside of the Fort of Fortune, and that is the Skeleton Fleets. As a solo player, this is now one of the most lucrative world events for you because it scales to you. And then on top of that, it's actually pretty easy to complete. Now, I'm going to give you some tips on how to do this world event, make some money and make money fast. First, put up Gold Hoarder. Gold Hoarder is one of the best ones to do for the Skeleton Fleet because by the time you're done with the Skeleton Fleet, you will be grade five. Then when you arrive to the Skeleton Fleet world event, here is the tricks that you need to know to do this pretty easily. As a solo player, you're going to face three waves of skeletons. First wave is going to be a skeleton sloop. Second wave is going to be a skeleton sloop. And then the third and the final wave, which will probably be the most challenging, will be a skeleton galleon. Now, here's the trick to do this. Upon entering the world event, Bring up your sails about halfway and straighten your wheel to a course that doesn't crash into any rocks. This will allow you the time that you need to shoot the ships as they rise out of the water. And with your ship at half sails and your helm straightened out, what will happen is the skeleton ships will just sit very nicely next to your ship, giving you a very easy way to shoot them with cannons. Now, I'm going to just let this play a little bit, but what you're seeing is essentially what happens every round. The ship stays at a pretty decent distance to shoot it with cannons and you get tons of cannon practice and you just keep hammering it with cannons until eventually it sinks. You turn the boat, you wait for it to sink and you scoop up the loot and then you wait until the next ship. After scooping up all the loot, strain out your helm again and drop your sails about halfway once again. This will cause the skeleton ship to spawn and you just do the whole process over again. Now the last ship, the Skeleton Galleon, the best thing to do for this guy is throw a bunch of fire as they rise out of the water and make sure to hit the deck cannon line, the upper deck. What this will do is it'll kill any skeletons that get on the cannon, giving you the time that you need to shoot the living crap out of their ship with cannons. And you wanna make sure that you hit the Skeleton Galleon on the bottom level, otherwise it will not get any water into the ship. And there you go. You now have a fire on the top deck, which will cause less cannons being shot at you, making it a little bit easier for you to do. And then all you have to do is 
keep that pressure on make sure to keep that fire pressure on the top deck and you just keep shooting that bottom line up the galleon and you're gonna get a ton of gold And that's it. Once this is done, this will sink and you will get a ton of treasure. With the new harpoon changes, it makes it even easier as a solo to just scoop up all the loot, head to the nearest outpost and sell your newfound gold. This is a great world event to make money, but it's also a great world event to practice cannons and getting used to your ship taking damage and you having to repair and do all the things as a solo. So I cannot recommend this world event enough. It is in fact my favorite one. What tips do you guys have in completing this world event? Let me know in the comments below and I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tips video.